How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Biblical Truth Central. I'm Brother D, and I am back with another video. I'm in a bit of a different setting. I'm in one of my kids' rooms right now because um, the the room that I typically record in is um, my bedroom. But due to the circumstances that are, you know, that's going on right here in Pensacola, Florida. Um, if you don't know, we were hit by a hurricane um, early Wednesday morning. So the majority of the city is without power. We have various neighbors around us that are utilizing generators. So um, if you know anything about a generator, it is very noisy, very loud, and very, you know, annoying. <laughs> quite frankly, and that is the sound that me and my family have been listening to for the past couple of days, and I'm, and I'm going to get to some blessings in a few minutes. I'm going to talk about a lot of things in this video. I felt that I, I needed to make a, a lengthy video uh, for the sake of uh, the channel, for the sake of it being a blessing to folks out there, and for the sake of telling the truth. So, because it's noisy on the other side of my home, I came over here in their room. They are in the living room right now asleep. I think I have one child that's up right now. And they're just like, oh my gosh, when is the power going to come back on? When is the power going to come back on? Well, they're estimating the power to come back on Tuesday. So, that will mean we, have, we would have been without power from Wednesday to Tuesday if that is true, but we're hoping and we're praying that we can get it back before then. You know, that's that's my prayer and that's my hope. Um, God has been good to us. He's been very good to us despite the circumstances. I mean, when you if you just really think about it, and I don't know if any of you have been through a hurricane or not, but there are different levels of tribulation that it can bring to a person's life. You know, you have something as small as losing your power. And that's a big deal for people. That's a really big deal for people. Um, being without your power for 24 hours can change your life if you are not prepared for such an outage. So just imagine being without your power for nearly a week. When Hurricane Ivan hit, people were without their power for three weeks. So they're actually moving a lot faster than we anticipated. But going through a hurricane can bring you things such as something as small as a power outage to something as large as losing everything that you own. Losing your car, losing your home, just losing everything, you know, your job can get flooded. There's just so many things that can occur during a hurricane. And I would think the ultimate um, tribulation would be the, you know, death. But hurricanes typically do not kill a lot of people, but they, they do devastate the lives of many, many individuals, uh, depending on where you live how strong the storm is, it can just, it can cause a lot of damage. You know, God has been so good to, to me because he has, number one, he's giving me and my family the most gracious, considerate, cons considerate neighbors um, that we could ever ask for. You know, ever since the storm hit, you know, our neighbors, they have been gracious. You know, he get my, my he, every, every morning, my, he will, I'll come outside and, you know, my neighbor will be out there. Like, you want a cup of coffee? So I brought him a cup of coffee, um, a cup, a little mug, and it's about as big as my fist. And he's like, yeah, you know, you, you sure that's the biggest cup you got? So I'm like, eh be all right for now so i kind of decided i would um <laughs> um surprise him this morning so he asked me do you want a cup of coffee i'm like yeah i do so i went ahead and got him i showed him this 
as you can see this is um yeah pretty big it's big trust me it, it's it's very big you know i don't know if you can tell from here but he started laughing and joking and so we had a little <laughs> a little chuckle there when we need that you know right about now we need that you know because when you're going through something like this you can look at it from different perspectives you can you can handle it in different perspectives some people try to make the best of the situation i think that you should try to make the best of the situation the only really the most the most uncomfortable prop, um thing about all of this is the fact that my children have never been through this and I have to listen to them all day, especially my oldest. You know, I have to listen to him all day long, you know, talk about, oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm losing hope. The power's never gonna cut back on. We're never going to get through this. And I keep telling him, son, you know, it's it's okay. We're going to get through this, don't worry. Um, and I have to constantly remind them, you know, there's a lot of people out here who are in a lot of trouble right now. They're in a lot of trouble. They, some people have lost everything. In fact, um, up, I'm looking at the window in the highway. It's about 7, yeah, from about 7 a.m. on, I think, to noon or something like that. Uh, they have the military here giving out. Um, MREs, which are um, meal replacement. I don't know what the E stands for. Meal replacements. <laughs> um, brings back memories of Ivan. Basically, you have like pouches that you can, that, that have food in them, like peanut butter sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, spaghetti, stuff like that. They got stuff like that in these pouches. And I think all you really got to do is add water or something. I don't remember how it works. But they're giving out MREs, they're giving out free water and ice, and the line is just so long. It's so long, and I, I was thinking, God, the other day, that we have what we need here. Like, we got food, we got water. Every time I go somewhere, I'm fortunate enough to find what I need, like water, you know, ice, stuff like that. Um, I haven't had to scavenge the whole city like some people have had to do. Um, things like that, you have to just put in perspective and remember, you know, that could be me in that line. That could be me sitting there um, having to get wait in line for hours upon hours to get some food for my family and I don't have to do that because um, we we have what we need and we were able to semi prepare I'll say because we weren't 100% prepared for this storm uh, but God saw us um, halfway I have a, a client a former client that I used to to train uh, about a year or so ago who, who has a, um, a grilling business, barbecue business. And I have been very fortunate to utilize him during this time period. He cooks um, hamburgers, ribs, stuff like that. Um, he does it for us. And he's been providing that for us for the last two days, I'll say. Two days and at a reasonable price as well. So that's a blessing that we don't have to sit in line at some fast food restaurant or some place that's just giving out food. But you know, I can go to him with no wait and you know place an order, and I got it. You know, so I'm glad that the Lord brought him into my life when He did a couple of years ago because you just never know when you're going to need somebody so he he's been a good big big help to us uh during this time period just a blessing you know more more than he's realized because um this storm has brought out you know in an already stressed out society that we live in it's brought out tension it's brought out anger 
It's brought out impatience in people. It's just really brought out some mean and, and, and nasty spirits in a lot of people. Um, I, 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 I get it. I understand how it feels to be without power because a lot of us are, are going through the same thing. We're in the same boat. Um, but there are people who have gotten their powers restored. So, you know, that's good for them. But, you know, I, I, I every time, <laughs> and I can't say that I haven't been praying about it. Of course I've been praying about it because I want my power back on. You know, I want to be able to take a hot shower. Uh, I want to be able to turn my AC on. And that's another thing. You see, typically during hurricanes here in Florida afterwards, it's hot. Hurricane season is between, I think it's June 1st to November the 1st. I believe that's hurricane season. And it's so hot and humid. And it's extremely uncomfortable for people who don't have power. Now, yesterday a cold front came in and it feels so good at night. You know, we have been sleeping with our doors open. I mean, our windows open in our screen door. And, um, the air just comes in. But last night we didn't have to do that. You know, we were able to shut our doors and <laughs> and enjoy that, that breeze that the Lord had sent. So, you know, it's things like that that you have to think about when you, you have to ask like serious, legitimate questions like, am I truly suffering right now? Am I really going through tribulation right now? Like, am I lacking something? And it's very hard for me to say that I'm suffering. It's hard for me to say that I'm lacking. We Though, though we may not have power, you know, we, we got some running water. It's cold, but it's better than no water at all. I mean, last time I checked, you can clean yourself in cold water. It's not the most comfortable, but it's better than not having any water at all. So when you when you just think about all that and there's no TV and I don't watch a lot of TV and another blessing is this Wi-Fi connection. I don't know where it came from, but we um, it's a hot spot and we're allowed to pay like, I think, eight dollars for 24 hours to utilize the Wi-Fi. These are all things that, you know, I we didn't get an opportunity to utilize when. 16 years ago when Hurricane Ivan hit. You know, 16 years ago, I don't even know if there was a such thing as Wi-Fi. I'm not sure. But we've been able to do that, which is how I've been able to actually upload these videos from my phone because I can utilize a, a Wi-Fi signal that we pay for every 24 hours. Um, so that's a blessing right there. I mean, it's just, you know, God, you, you have to have eyes to see and ears to hear, to see the Lord working in the midst of trials. And I, I honestly believe that this is like a, a big test for the saints, a big test for unbelievers, a big test for everybody to see who can endure. A, a, a scripture kept it popping in my mind over the last couple of days, you know, endure to the end, endure to the end, endure to the end. And I just feel the Lord saying to me, you know, you can handle this. You will be okay. You can endure. And I will say that the patience that I have been exhibiting over the last couple of days is a, a level of patience that I cannot say that I've had my whole life. I do know that there are points where <laughs> that I can remember that if I would go through something like this, I would just lose it. I would snap and I would just like, ah, ah, oh my gosh, you know, but 
me being older, as the Bible says, you know, as a child, I did childish things. But as a man, I put away my childish ways, the ways of the, the words of Paul. Complaining does not get us anywhere. It does not change anything. It does not solve anything. It does not fix anything. All it does is raise your blood pressure. <laughs> and increase your anxiety. That's all it's, it tends to do. That's it. Um, it, it nothing more, nothing less. Uh, complaining is not going to make the power company work that much harder. Um, it's not gonna make them come directly to me. It's not gonna make them move any faster. It's just not gonna do anything but, but just make me more impatient and make the time go slower. And ensure that I fail this test of patience that I'm sure the Lord is putting me under. But, like I said, th throughout this process, it's um, it's, it's been an experience. It has because, again, we we have a lot of things to be grateful for. Um, the fact that we are alive and we got our vehicles are okay and our homes okay. But there's a lot to be grateful for. There is. Like if my kids were away, maybe like at um a relative's house, you know, we don't really have many relatives. Well, I don't have any relatives here as of right now, but my wife, she has relatives here. And it's a situation of not exactly being able to have help when you need it. Um, it's, it's not that I don't believe that her family does not want to help. It, it's more of a what's convenient type of issue. Um, you know, this schedules, it's just, it's, it's, it's complicated. There's just some things going on that are a little bit out of all of our control. But, you know, I told my wife last night, I said, you know, um, it's just us and, and God, you know, we're going to be okay. This is not the time to fret. It's not the time to worry. I mean, we, we've gone this many days, you know, without power, you know, what's another couple days. And, and I know that if I tell my oldest son that he's just going to fall out and which is why I've been trying to keep them occupied. I've been trying to keep them busy. I've been trying to keep them doing things that, that, um, you know, that'll take their mind off of this. You know, I don't want them sitting around. The worst thing you can do during this type of thing is lay down and do nothing. That's the worst possible thing you can do. You have to stay occupied. You got to stay doing something. You got to do something to get this off of your mind. Um, and what we've been doing is, you know, we've been doing a lot of cleaning up. At my grandmother's house, we've been cleaning the yard, trying to cut this tree down. I've been trying to get the kids out to play and kickball and just stay busy because the longer we have to, the longer we sit around, the, 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 the slower this is going to go by. But I know that, that um, you know, with God on our side, he's going to ensure uh, that we get through this. He's promised us this. You know, he's promised us that, you know, in this life, you, you're going to have to go through things. You, this is a trial. He said in life, you will endure trials and tribulations. You will go through um, time periods that are not the most comfortable. And yeah, that's, that's just what this is right now. Um, this is going to be a, a two-part video. Um, I want to end this video with some scripture and then I'm going to record the, the other part which I would put in this video but I don't want to mess up the vibe I want to keep this video pure as possible because there's something else I want to talk about that is a bit south but it also needs to be discussed as well so I'm going to read Psalms let's see Psalms 121 and I had it pulled up, but somehow it I lost my um 
wait a minute. <laughs> okay, Psalms 121. It says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He will keep you, will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. God is no slouch, folks. Verse 5. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by the day, and the moon shall not strike you by the night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going and your coming in from time forth and even furthermore. I want to thank each and every one of you out there who have been praying for me and my family. All of my subscribers who, who leave comments, thank you very much uh, for showing your love, for showing compassion. Um, just thank you. You know, we, we truly do appreciate um, the prayers. Prayers have the, the power to intercede. They have the power to change things. Um, if, I, if I had to make a request, it would be for the Lord to grant us more patience and endurance and to be able to be in a situation to play catch up. From last week, you know, with our children, they've been out of school all this time. Um, I've been out of work since really Monday. Um, so last Monday, so almost going the week. So I'm praying that I can get some normalcy going tomorrow. So please put that in your prayer so we can get things up and running again. Um, God is good all the time. I will never... You know, am I going to be like Job and shake my fist on him? You know, I know, I know that in this life, it's not going to be easy. And that, you know, with God, all things are possible. And he's going to get us through this. So um, if you're new to this channel, thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe. More content coming by the way. Stay tuned for part two. Um, again, the, the subject's going to change. So be looking for that. God bless. Peace.